well. I always said I wanted to be in a cringe video. Just didn't expect it to be my own video. Alright, so what are we doing today? Another quiz? Maybe talking about some meaningless topic? Yeah, it, it's pretty meaningless. What I decided to do was take a trip down memory lane and go see my old artwork going back as far as 2012. And I remember a long time ago I deleted some old art, but a lot of it is still up there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have a great uh, cringe show for us. But mind you that a lot of it is gonna end up being My Little Pony and Little's Pet Shop because honestly that's what I drew a lot of and uh, it's uh it's not too bad that you want to kill yourself but it's still pretty damn bad all right so let's get started with this why don't we start with how I used to draw people oh won't you look at that I mean line work and coloring aside and just looking at the anatomy in general, I don't think it's too bad, but I, that's, those are some sharp ass titties. Okay, uh, looking at this, I can see I, I, I think back in the day, I took a lot of inspiration from um, Panty and Stocking and then another show that I watched a lot of called Randy Cunningham, um, which uh, kind of like, it explains the whole, uh, wide leg ending with like just a nub I still do that but I mean it doesn't look as bad as here <laughs> if that makes sense best humans not gonna lie there's still my th there's still some of my favorite ponies but this just looks um bad looking at another human and of course, it's a fucking pony, because I mean, what else did I fucking draw back in the day? Uh, fucking Randy Cunningham, Shizao, Littlest Pet Shop. Anyone remember Shizao? Like, I, I don't, I, I still to this day feel like it was like some kind of fever dream or something. Anyways, looking at this human, how I, how I drew this person, fucking DJ, DJ Pony. Uh, a few things changed, but it's still basically the same thing, you know? I think that's what I'm gonna mainly focus on here. How, like, the process of- process of how I drew people changed. And still, fucking, uh, coloring and line art- I mean, line art- Line art isn't too bad, but the coloring process, pretty damn bad. We are entering 2013, and it is still a very dangerous place, my people. Uh, I think this is another uh, another way I started drawing people. It was like stick arms and stick legs, which uh, I think uh, I'm trying to think like where that inspiration came from, and specifically, nothing really comes to mind. But that's how I started drawing people for a while not gonna lie I, I still I kind of like it but if I tried to draw this way now like it would not work okay let's see humans uh still pretty much like sticks but I guess I was in that uh part of my life where I started experiencing I mean exper experimenting a bit more with like figures and such also, it was around this time where I also started to like dabble in digital art a little bit more than uh, traditional. Or at least like posting more digital stuff on DeviantArt. Which is a good thing. Very good thing. And uh, I, I started thinking a while back of where that stick arm style came from. And when I think about it, I think it sort of came from a... Uh, God damn it, it was in my head. Fuck, it was in my head. I remembered it just a second ago. Oh well. Uh human lineup. Oh, these were a bunch of humanized Lewis Pet Shop, because what else did I draw? 2014. More advancements on art style. And also that time where I started going more into lineless art. Not gonna lie, I still love lineless art. I'm just not doing it as much anymore. 
Uh, what is this? It's that one character from El Elfin Elven Lied? Elfin Lied? I, I say it two different ways every single fucking time I say it. Anyways, I look at this and to be honest, I still kind of like it. I mean, it's, uh, it's obviously bad in the anatomy sense because, I mean, look at those, look at the legs. They look like noodles. And it is, it doesn't even look like she has ankles. But, um, I, I, I kind of like it basically if you just cut out the legs. I, I still think these hands, especially this one right here. I put absolutely no fucking effort into drawing and I now I'm just thinking what the fuck was I doing back then? Uh, here's another one. Long neck syndrome to the max. Look at that fucking neck. Oh uh, god, the arms are completely fucked. The, the torso is fucked. Legs are... I mean, they're not... They're not bad. I think they're fine. But you look at the rest of it and it is just ugly. I actually did a redraw of this. If you guys didn't see it. I did a redraw of it. And I just think it turned out so much better. Ugh. Unlike the rest of the things I've seen so far. I do not. I don't like this. That's the reason why I redrew it. 2014. People still look like shit and they still suffer from long neck syndrome. Green eyed. Uh, American McGee's Alice and Dorothy. I mean, this was when the whole like news that American McGee was gonna make Oz, like you know, like the Wizard of Oz sort of base game. Too bad that that didn't really kick off. But anyways, looking at this, those braids for Dorothy are a complete fucking joke. They just are. They're not. Like, I mean, they're, they don't even look like they have, like, a pattern to actually look like braids. They're just, like, squiggles. That's terrible. Um, I'm still shit at drawing blood. I'll be perfectly honest. I do it better tr uh, traditionally than digitally, but of uh, that blood, it, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. I'm gonna, I'm giving myself so much shit because, I mean, this was bad. I'll be... I'll be honest, I do like how, like, uh, the little details on Dorothy actually turned out. The rest of it, though, I... If this was the artwork that someone handed in to, uh, try to get into a f fucking art school, maybe even fucking art class, I would turn it down. 2015, how much better have things gotten? Well, in this drawing, Trixie kind of looks like a dwarf. When I look at her, she's very small. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I kind of like the humanization here that I did for Trixie. It's just that her form, like I said, it makes her look like a dwarf. <laughs> Still 2015 and we are not getting any better. We got ourselves some squid sisters even though they're not sisters and in reality i do not play splatoon and i do not plan to what do we have here uh da, da, da. looking at the figures and how i drew them this is that one part of my life of what when i had what i would like to call vivzy pop syndrome <laughs> broken shoulders bad anatomy in general shading is just I wouldn't say it's terrible, but it's bad. <laughs> I mean, just like Vivzy Pop, no throwing no shade, just saying. Anyways, uh, da, da, squid divas. Someone asked for the Spl squid sisters from Splatoon. I don't know anything about this game, but I think the sisters are pretty. Yep, still holding on to that. I do like the squid sisters. However... I will say the artwork from the game is better than the actual models. I'm just saying it. The models in the game look terrifying. Here we go, 2016. What do we have here? Uh, I think this is still what we call Vivzy Pop Syndrome. Look at that broken ass shoulder. Uh, doo -doo, but I will admit it has gotten a little bit better. We got some uh, edgy pink Amina here. And oof, the edge is strong with this one. Not gonna lie, 
Uh, I still kind of like the design that I have for Pink Amina. It's just, uh, calm that edge. A bit more Pinkie Pie and with cheese sandwich. God, I think they are absolutely adorable. I really do. But, uh, here we go. Some more broken shoulders from Pink Amina. Some weird ass eyelashes. Are those? That's color in between the eyelash. Why did I do that? That is so weird. And now looking at it, it looks kind of ugly. So what else do we got here? We got we got cheese sandwich with some very long legs, some very sharp elbows. I mean, I don't think it's too bad. I really don't. I don't think it's too bad. But uh, if I redrew this, it would look a lot better. God, 2016, give me strength. What do we got here? Uh, some You Know Gossai from uh, The Future Diary. Mar 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 Nikki. I can't say Japanese names well. Anyways, to shading here, uh, I don't think it's too bad either. It's just that the problem with all of this old shading I had is that I still had the... the uh, I, yeah, I still had the, I still had it too bright in, in comparison to the actual base of the color or too dark. Yeah, I would say too dark. It's too dark and that's what makes it look a bit odd. And in this case, and specifically, I made the line art, uh, not really fit for, for the, the, the character. I mean, it fits for the hair, not for any, for everything else. If I was going to do that, it should have been a lot darker. But, uh, I uh, wouldn't say it's too bad. Still's got, still has that bad anatomy. And they're very thin, like sticks. This is another thing that also came with Vivzy Pop Syndrome. Absolutely everything I drew ended up looking like a stick. So glad I went out of that. Another one that I think is actually pretty cute and I still kind of like. I mean, I really like the colors. I like the background that I did for this one. But, God damn, the thing that gets me every fucking time when I look at this picture is this fucking broken arm right here. Just look at it. If it wasn't for that broken arm, I would think that this is actually pretty okay. Like, minus the broken shoulder here and the weird ass eye right there. If it wasn't for this fucking arm, this image would actually still look pretty fucking okay. Still going on in 2016, and I think we are actually seeing a lot more progress. Uh, to, sure, uh, there's still a lot of, like, syndrome here, but I honestly still really like this piece. And especially, like, the way she's positioned. And I kind of also like the background. I mean, there's not a lot going on here, but I still like this. Oof, here's that redraw I told you guys about. Finally, it shows up. Now, you see what I'm talking about here? I mean, you look at that, and then you look at the old one. Yeah, a lot of progress has been made. I mean, oh, God, the fucking body, the shoulders, the face, the hair, uh, the, the legs, the clothing. I, yeah, a lot of it actually uh, is a lot better than this monstrosity. Here we are at 2017, and... I genuine talk here. I still really like this image. It, I mean, it's like, it's one of the first things I drew with like an actual background and I tried putting like a lot of detail into it. I know I don't do a lot of backgrounds. It's just that it takes so much out of me and look, not making excuses. I just, I really do suck with backgrounds. But seeing this is like one of the first things I do. And I did this on my phone. Alright, this was back before I actually got my tablet. I did this on my phone, and I tried very hard to make this work, and honestly, I think it, it really paid off. I still very much love this image. 2017, and I am seeing less and less twigs. Not to mention, I'm also seeing, like, less big bo uh, less big heads and smaller bodies, trying to make it you know, a, a bit more realistic than the big head, small body cartoon sort of thing. But also, this was like the first thing that I actually 
um, did fully on fire alpaca and tried my very best to make it look like I had a tablet or whatever. And I think it actually very much paid off. Because, I mean, you look at this and I'm still proud of this. I really like how this looked. I kind of wish I didn't make like the hair flip on this side and put it on, you know, the other side instead. But I'm still pretty happy with it. Jesus Christ, if I could just like knock the edginess out of me, that would be complete. But you know me, I am an edgy teenager at heart. One of the last few pieces before 2018 and I very much like this. I mean, of course, because it's recent, but you know, I really like all like the glitchy effect I added onto Monica. Oof, yeah, that's some nice glitch. So, how did it hold up? I don't know. How do you think the process of drawing people went through from 2012 all the way to current day? Y you saw what the things I've had to go through and the shit I drew before. So, I mean, a lot of, a lot of artists do like to talk down on themselves when they look through on their old stuff, but... In a way, it's pretty damn healthy, because, you know, you see all the progress you've done, and... I don't know. A lot of people cringe or talk bad about their old art, but... I like seeing the positives in it. Especially after seeing how much I have progressed over the years. I know I complain a lot about how I don't feel like I'm being appreciated or recognized, but I mean, that's not really the people who watch me's, uh responsibility I am honestly at the end at the end of the day I'm just happy that they're there and the people that have been with me from the beginning are still there and to those people I say thank you very much and I mean thank you very much if you watch this video so yeah I guess that's it enjoy the the cringe and if you want go ahead and go to my, uh, go to my DeviantArt and look at all the old stuff because I am definitely not showing it all here. You can see that horror for yourself. Anyways, this has been Z and I'll see you in the next video.